Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download OBS Studio on your Windows computer without too much of a hassle, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, we want to start by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to use Google Chrome for this tutorial. And I'm just going to type in OBS Studio, and you're going to search it up on Google. One of the best results should come back with Open Broadcaster software. You want to go ahead and just left click on that link. It should take you directly to the obsproject.com who are the makers of this software. So just give it a moment here to load. You want to select whatever version corresponds to your operating system. So most people are going to probably select Windows. However, you're using a Macintosh or Linux, select your correct version here. So I'm just going to click on Windows. And it should take a moment to start the download. If the download does not start within a few seconds, you want to select the Try Again button to attempt to initiate the download once more. It's about 66 megabytes, so it's not a very big download, so it shouldn't take more than a minute or so, again, depending on your internet connection more than likely. And once it's done downloading, you want to just go ahead and left corner one time to actually open up the setup file. You can minimize out of the web browser at this time too. And if you receive user account control prompt, select yes. Select next again. And if you said it was not applicable to your version of Windows, it'll attempt to install the 32-bit version. So you can see it just automatically did that. It didn't actually have to reinstall anything. We're going to select I agree. Select next. If you want to choose to install plugins, you can. Usually I would suggest not. You don't really need them. Go ahead and select install here. And once it's done, you can select to launch OBS Studio if you choose. Otherwise, just uncheck it and select Finish. And that's about it. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.